Greetings friends, I'm totally bush today but I wanted to show you this and I do have, unfortunately I do have a really serious disease which is why I'm always completely wrecked. Uh, what I've done is I've just got them, uh, firstly disclaimer, this video proves nothing other than Milford is awesome. Okay, it proves nothing. What I've got, I've got a very basic uh, handle attachment for this which is a blade hub that I may use which will go further down but is rusty inside and I don't have the minerals to sort that out in the minute. Then I've just got the rectifier connected straight to the uh, machine as it would this wire will in future go down the tu uh, tunnel, go down the uh, tower and then the rectifier will be in the shed uh, I'm not measuring amps because I sure as hell don't have the minerals to fight against the load uh, This is how this looks here. Remember I haven't got round fitting it in yet I'll explain something in a minute about that, but firstly, I'll just show you if we get an angle uh, And then I can zoom in on the footage of the meter and try and get the handle in at the same time so that's 13 volts that it's probably about 70 rpm this is as fast as i can go just over 20 it got to there's 20. something i'll quickly talk more about now is uh, because we haven't got the motor mounted in yet, because I still haven't decided the best way to do it, needs some kind of tab welding on here. I'm just going to rotate it slowly and you'll see it moving up and down slightly. Uh, hang on a sec. Yeah, there's, there's the up spot. And... There's the down spot. What that may mean is that this isn't centralized properly, which is fine. So that will be a job that has to be done because we need to have this motor fixed in, even though it would never drop out. It's held, it would, could be held in by the chain alone, but obviously that isn't acceptable. So what we'll need to do is adjust this somehow and then just check it. Because if we try and tighten that up, if we tighten that all the way up, that movement has to go somewhere. Okay, so we have to we have to get rid of that. Yeah, buddy! Woo! Doesn't it look cool? Yeah. Whew. So I just wanted to show you that. That's not really any progress, but that's to all the subscribers who dig the channel. And uh, there is also some very good news in the fact that I've bought a secondary bearing, uh, which was £25, which I don't really have. If anyone wants to send any donations, I don't like asking, but if people want to do that. So you can have a secondary bearing to fit here. Uh... When my son and his mate comes around, this is going to get the whole uh, thing will have to be taken off. Uh, these nuts have to be removed and then the secondary bearing can be installed here and will hopefully be connected to these things. Just want to show you guys that's basically what was left of the chain. So, out of one metre chain, we've got 410 mil left, so that chain's 590 mil long. Lovely jubbly. Uh, so, yeah, I was going to say something else, but I've forgotten what it was. Yeah, uh, these things are quite cool. There's going to be absolutely no problem whatsoever joining the secondary bearing on, but need to get rid of what's propping it up. And also, we've got the long-term botherance of the pipework being slightly smaller, which we have to address with both bearings. But I know, I know, 
the way of doing it and the purpose of the second bearing the purpose of the second bearings which is going to fit about here will be to have two arms coming off which will come from here as far back as we can go and will literally act to take a lot of weight of the tower so it will be working perfectly because this one can concentrate on swiveling and pointing the, the beast in the wind. Sorry, I don't know if you noticed, I did bolt it on for that test. That is not staying on there permanently. Uh, yeah, this bearing, it can now act solely to turn the turbine into the wind and the secondary bearing will take the weight of the whole thing. And interestingly, this, this frame and everything you see is lighter than the other one by a considerable margin because we've got on the other one we've got the great big thing at the base of the turbine that was made and I think this is going to be at least 10 kilos lighter so that's good one more whip of the motor in close up juicy baby let's go so yeah, I'll see you soon my friends, wish me luck, say a prayer for me and send a donation if you want something to happen. Lots of love, bye.